um hey guys doing a laguna speed paint i mean redesign yeah this this video is not scripted i'm i'm too lazy for that but anyways yeah because i was watching i got bored i also had a migraine yesterday so i just started i was i'm also like sick maybe i started watching gen 3 monster high because i haven't yet and um i oh i remembered i remembered how much i hated laguna and claudine's design like bro what did you do to them why do they look like that i don't like it anyways so i was like i'm gonna redesign laguna because i like laguna like from the ogs i personally i like laguna she's my favorite character favorite design though would probably be laguna <laughs> and then second would be Dracula laura and then second would be cleo denial because i like them i like them some people don't like cleo and you know what that's your opinion i'm not saying it's wrong but i think it's wrong anyways for this redesign i was like looking in to who the fuck designed these goddamn designs and like let me be clear i like cleo's redesign i actually think it might be better than gen one i don't know gen one cleo something kind of doesn't sit right with me but i don't mind it but for this one i was like i really miss her like weird sporty like fit from gen one like what happened to it and so i wanted to make it look more sporty Yippee! <laughs> and one of the uh i made a list of things that i was like i think i need this in it i put athletic wear because she wears a lot of that i feel like people forget that laguna is like a fucking jock she's like captain of the swim team this bitch is ripped anyways <laughs> She's got this, like, mermaid aesthetic, kind of. Not really. Okay, I just put that there because I saw someone, like, say that in the wiki, but I'm just like, I don't see the mermaid. I kind of see fish monster, but I don't see the mermaid. And then I put blue and yellow, because I think that's her most prominent traits. I don't know where the fuck they went off with trying to, like, make her pink for some reason. Like pink as her main color because it just looks weird but she looks like those tricks like mixed flavored yogurt that's like strawberry and banana save my girl she did not deserve that and then i was like I'd, i got i should add some net details to this design because like she had a lot of that oh my god <laughs> those those net shorts this bro it didn't occur to me at first in gen 1 because it's like you kind of barely see it it's not that noticeable but gen 3 it reminded me of naruto you know how they all have the fucking fish nets under their clothes for some reason was that ever explained why are all these 10 year old kids wearing fish nets so weird Anyways, I was like, I gotta add that somewhere. And then I wanted to add freckles because I was reading the wikis, like all three of them, only the appearance one though, section. And they all said that she has freckles. And I kind of just never noticed that. I don't remember her having freckles, but whatever, she has freckles, so I'll add that. I think it's nice though that they kept them like through all three gens. That's nice. And then like lastly, I put Honduras. But <laughs> okay. I was I didn't know she was from Hon Honduras when I first watched Gen 3. Like I did notice that she no longer had an Aussie accent. So I was like, oh, oh that's a that's a little unsettling. But 
then I was like scrolling Pinterest and someone was like, OMG Honduras under a picture of Gen 3 Laguna. And I was like, what? Is that where she's from? Because I didn't get that from her design. At no point did I look at that and think, oh yeah, Latin America. I'm, I'm sorry. I just, I don't, I don't see it. And then, I mean, like, granted, a lot of people these days now dress the same. A bunch of, like, t-shirts and sweatpants, but whatever. I'm, I still think there's some culture, like, aspects somewhere. I look at the wiki, and apparently, she's from Honduras. She's no longer from Australia. Which, I don't mind. I don't think it's, like, integral to her character that she's Australian. She's got an Aussie accent. But, um... I will miss the Aussie accent. It will be missed. And okay, I did not. I did not fucking see Honduras or Latin America anywhere in the Gen Three design, except maybe the straight hair, because I did see some people were like, "Oh no, where did her curly hair go?" And I was like, "Yeah, that is kind of weird." But then I remembered, "Oh, she's from Honduras." I I think people there like have straight hair from what I've seen I'm not the expert on Latin America so like shoot me if I'm wrong I guess but I just yeah oh yeah her shoes <laughs> the um the fucking pool ring I just put that there because I remembered that one Pokemon character from Pokemon Legends and I was like yeah that's funny as fuck I'm putting it I love that bitch's clown shoes. They're ridiculous. Anyways, I was like looking at reference pictures of Andrew's fashion. So I was like, what the hell do I put here? And honestly, I, I don't know. I don't I don't think anything in this design like reads Honduras. But that's on me, I guess. I tried to have like what do you call it? I tried to add, um... Yeah. To the shirt. And then, like... Yeah, I just kept it, because I thought it looked cool. But logistically, I don't really think Laguna would wear it. Actually, watching Gen 3 Laguna, and then, like, the straight hair and all the pink, really reminded me of power from Chainsaw Man, especially with the pointed teeth. And so I think like, I don't know, I look at the design I made and I'm kind of like, yeah, this is kind of power. <laughs> it's literally her power if she was the water demon. <laughs> yeah. Um, Things I dislike about the Gen 3 design. I don't- okay, when I first saw it, what really hit me was the color choices. Because it's just this, like, pastel blob with a bunch of pink. And at first when I saw the pink, I was, like, unsettled. I was like, what the fuck am I looking at? Bitch, this is not Laguna Blue. But, like, in the final design, I went with a pink skin tone. Because... I thought it looked nice. Like, I think it could look nice, but it's just, I think one of the problems with Gen 3's design, which actually, fun fact, Gen 3 was designed by fucking Lauren Faust, the creator of, like, modern My Little Pony. Bitch, when I heard that, I was like, what the fuck? She did My Little Pony justice, but she did not do Monster High justice, bitch. She fucked them all up. Except Clea Denial. But yeah. I, I think one of the problems is there's not a lot of differences in like the value of the colors. Like it's all pastel and then the hoodie's kind of like just saturated. It's, it's so disgusting to look at. And bro, something that bothers me so much 
in the OG Gen 1 Lucidon design, you can like see she's wearing shorts and then fishnet sort shorts, which is okay. That's fine. But then it, it doesn't look that weird. But then you look at Gen 3. This bitch is wearing jean shorts and then fishnet shorts under them. And looking at it makes me feel so unsettled. Bro, I hate it. I hate it so much. It is so disgusting to look at. And then like her hoodie. Bitch, where does she get this Lulu woman? Kill yourself. Also, another odd thing was like when I was reading Gen 3 Wiki, it said that like she's wearing like 80s inspired like sportswear, which I think is odd. And then I started watching the like, rest of the series, and it, the entire thing is kind of like 80s inspired or influenced for some reason, which I think is really weird because this is like the new gen of Monster High meant for, like, the new generation of kids that, you know, are living in 2024, not 1980s. Why are all these kids looking like they're from the 80s? I don't, I don't understand. Because, like, if anything, they should draw inspiration from the current fashion, which is, like, I honestly don't even know because I don't pay attention, but I know it's not stuff from the 80s. Like, there's certainly a subsection of people that like the 80s, but it's not the current trend right now. Like, maybe from like 2020 or like before that, because I know when I was in middle school, there was like a resurgence of 80s fashion, but we're not going through that right now. If anything, it's like 90s or early 2000s. Lauren Foss. Get your shit together. Anyways. I didn't give her starfish earrings because something didn't sit right with me. I don't know. I look at them and I'm, I just, I think about space, not the ocean. So I didn't like that. Also, looking at her Gen 3 design, what the fuck is that like pink stripe on her hoodie? What the hell is that? Also, I saw someone, like, shitting on the graphic tees in the show, and I'm kind of like, now that I notice them, yeah, I do, I don't like that. Oh yeah, for her shoes, I I think about Gen 1 Lacuna's shoes all the time. Bro, them shoes that that shoe company came out with when they collabed with Monster High, I want Laguna shoes, and I want them now. Unfortunately, I don't have $150 just like laying around for me to throw at shoes, so I can't. But God, I wish I did, because I would get those shoes. They're a need. They're an absolute fucking need. For her hair, this video is all over the place and I'm so sorry. But for her hair, I was like, I thought it'd be really fun. If you, like, made it look like she dyes her hair, I just thought that would be nice. Because, yeah. So I added, like, green roots. And I also, like, I wanted to keep the straight hair, kind of, but I'm not really into it. But it, it's, like, it's the one thing where I was, like, I should keep this. Because I was still thinking about Honduras. <laughs> And so, like, I don't know, I see a lot of pictures from there, and the people have straight hair. But then I was like, okay, I'm gonna make the ends of her hair curly. How would you, like, achieve this hairstyle naturally? I don't... I don't fucking know. Because I don't think you can. But, you know, Laguna is not real, so it doesn't matter. You can also like see I made a bunch of like different color schemes because I, I just didn't know what the fuck I should do. And also like halfway through the coloring I realized oh shit the stupid program still has that goddamn filter on so I had to turn it off and then like all the colors like flash banged me because they were neon 
I was going through the entire time. I was like, why does this color not look like the color it's supposed to be? It's because fucking Kratos doing shit. I don't know. Kratos is a little weird sometimes. Yeah. I I need them to make Laguna a jock again. Like, I don't even know what's happening in Engine 3. But why is it only about Claudine, Frankie, and, like, Draculaura? Guys, I cannot give a flying shit about Claudine. She's my least favorite character. I don't like her. She's so annoying. She's literally those kids that are like, um, actually? Like, can you shut the fuck up? No one cares. I don't want to hear it. I'm so tired of her. Also, why did they make her like a nerd? I don't understand. Like, you literally have Frankie and Gulia there. They they are the nerds. I, why is Cla Claudine a nerd? If anything, I would have also made her a jock. Because I just think about that one episode where she runs really fast. I'm just like, she could have been in track. She could have been, like, iconic. And have so much fashion. But no, they had to, like, 2014 Tumblrify her. Mmm. Disgusting what they did to her. Bring my girl back. They did her so much injustice. Like, Claudine was never really my favorite in the originals. But holy shit. She did not deserve that. What did they do to her? It's downright evil. Like, I think the two biggest sins of Gen 3 are Laguna and Claudine. Also, I think the plot line with Claudine is so weird. Also, what the fuck is up with witchcraft? Like, why aren't they allowed to be witches? I don't, I don't understand. Like, is there an actual reason for this? Or is this just like some stupid plot point for Draculaura? And also, on Draculaura, I think it's crazy that they made her like the best student. Like, she's the top student valid victorian whatever i don't i don't remember what they called it and then like they just drop in episode six i think they're like oh yeah i'm half asian and then like literally the next episode i think she like has this fight with her dad she's like no dad i don't want to be valid victorian i want to be a witch i just you really had to pull that card huh <laughs> You really had to pull the I'm Asian and I'm good at school card. For real. Um, thank you, Monster High. I don't know. But that was kind of crazy to me. Like, as a, as a half Asian myself, <laughs> that's kind of crazy. <laughs> so odd. Kind of wild, not gonna lie. things i do like about gen 3 though is cleo and i like that they made cleo and frankie lesbians not really because they're not dating yet but they should date soon because otherwise i'm not sticking around to finish this stupid cartoon like i know it's for children but Gen 1 Monster High was so much better. Like, all these characters are so annoying, and they're just stupid archetypes. And I don't understand why they did that. Because he- Like... In Gen 3, it kind of just feels like they're all just fucking around and having a good time or whatever. Like, there's nothing really happening. Like, in Gen 1, you had Cleo being a fucking bitch, and there was like some odd shit happening. I, it was kind of crazy. But Gen 3, they're just fucking around, slapping each other on the back and being like, Oh yippee, we're monsters! Like, I, I kind of feel like it's become an allegory for being gay now for some reason. That's just, I, I just find that odd. I just, I think Gen 1 had so much more to offer because it was like, for girls. It was like, for little girls. And I liked Laguna because she was a jock. 
this is fun. But you get Gen 3, you don't see Laguna anymore. And she's just fucking psychotic and bloodthirsty, which honestly I kind of like. But also, what the hell happened to the rest of her character? They really dumped these characters down, and I hate it. I don't like it. Why would you do that? Anyways, um, the recording space left on my phone is ending, so I'm gonna have to, like, check out. Bye. Thanks for watching my stupid video. This recording's kind of chaotic, but, like, whatever. Bye-bye.